All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Cam's Resto Cars here. And today I'll be working on this 1987 Toyota pickup again. Uh, working on removing the engine blocks so we can send it off to get it rebuilt. So I'm glad you guys could join me. So as you can see, we've got a lot of it torn down. Uh, this was covered with plastic wrap and grease to make sure it doesn't rust. Uh, but I gotta get all these wires out of here. It's like a big old wiring harness. I gotta disconnect a couple more things. And then unbolt it from the tranny in the back there. And uh, tranny is a word that we use, that we car guys use to refer to the transmission, if you didn't know what that was. Uh, <laughs> So I got the power steering pump unbolted. I need to get the distributor unbolted and I got my engine lift up at the house that I'm going to hopefully string under this thing and pull it out. But uh, we'll see if that actually works or not. So first of all, got to get these uh, things here uh, all taken care of. There's a bunch of wires and stuff and yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. And I haven't finished painting this yet. If I can get this out, I'm going to repaint it because it got messed up in here. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, we moved it from the house down into the field because we had a bunch of work done up the house. Uh, but for, for now, this is where it sits and uh, happy to work on it down here in the field along with the other projects that we've got going on. So uh, yeah, interior of this thing... The interior of this thing is all done, ready to go, like 100% done inside, uh, all cleaned. I just need to get the engine out of here and shipped off to a place that will convert it into a long block and add some power to it, so that'll be cool. But uh, I actually got to get the motor out uh, first in order to do that, so well, let's get to it. Alright, first things first, get the uh, distributor off so I can take the power steering pump off and uh, go from there so it's a 14 millimeter socket and it should be a couple bolts on here I'm not sure where exactly but we'll find out alrighty guys so this bolt went in right here and this one went in on the side which held this I believe to be a ground wire I'm not sure exactly held this on there and it holds ugh, it's hard to get to some of this stuff but if I can shove it out of the way like that, you can see it's hold, also holding the dipstick onto the engine block. And uh, I think that was all the bolts for the distributor, so it should pop off. But uh, one second on that, I'm going to mosey around in here and see what I can find. Alright guys, so I was underneath the car, I got two more bolts out, this long one, that skinny one. And look at this thing, I found an old key like a holds a spare key and some spare change I guess so it's super old it has the extra key we got like four extra keys now which is pretty cool but uh, yeah found it under here in the bumper so that's a pretty neat find gotta save that so yeah I think this thing's about ready to come loose it's very close I don't know if you pull it up or what the heck's supposed to happen, but the power steering pump is intertwined with it, which is such a pain in the booty. And uh, I can't exactly reach the other bolts to undo the bracket for the power steering pump. Because uh, Toyota, you know, it's pretty easy to take everything apart. It's just not super easy to get to. So I'm going to try to get that bolt off, but we'll see what happens. Alright, I got that dang bolt undone so there's that I think there we go ah, just set that over there and uh, oh boy there's the bracket that I was talking about that goes on the power steering pump and intertwines with that I gotta save these in a box of parts somewhere so throw it on the ground and call it good so there's the alternator right there and I need to undo a couple of wires and it uh, should be good to take out like this little plug here and this right here undo that and undo well 
I probably don't really need to take it out, but it'd probably be best because the motor's gonna come straight out of here and might have to move the exhaust, you know, tiny things. Then we can attack this side. I think that's all, all I need to get off on this side. Then you've got the engine mounts right here. One, two bolts, and uh, freeze the engine up. And then you got the transmission bolts in the very back, which I'll show you guys if I get there today. But uh, I also got to work on this side, get all this mess taken care of. Uh, so, yeah, it's quite the project, but I'm actually enjoying it. I'm learning a lot, and uh, I hope you guys are too. So, I can't wait to get it done. It'll be a high-performance Toyota. I never had one of those before. So, I'll uh, do what I can and show you guys what I get to the, today. So, thanks for joining me again. Hey right, guys, I removed a wiring harness out of here, actually. Uh, it's this, I don't know, EFI, something or other. Uh, probably has to do with gas lines, too. <laughs> coolant uh, it goes to this plugs into this thing here which not sure exactly what it's all for but it's brittle so I broke it obviously and there's a hose that broke here but I'll do with that later and so I just gotta get this off starter off oil filter thingy majiggy and it looks like one or two other things down below uh, kind of a pain because all the wires are over here but I'm just gonna snap my fingers real quick and it'll be done there it is folks with a snap of a finger all taken care of on that side here's my glorious pile of parts I got the exhaust manifold out for painting I can bring that up to the house and paint it if I want got the starter power steering pump oil filter air hoses fuel pump everything and this whole sides clear of mounts and brackets just have the engine mounts I'm trying to figure out to get this thing off I'd love to get that off tonight but uh, kind of running out of time but once I get the engine pulled out drop the oil pan or whatever's under here and uh, should be good to go I'm thinking I might try to unbolt it from the transmission this evening not sure uh, I don't really know what it's gonna do <laughs> uh, as in the El Camino it just kind of sagged the engine sags because it's only two engine mounts uh, so I might try to unbolt it I might not it's getting a little late and I have something to do tomorrow morning early uh, but we'll see what happens. I'll make up my mind here in a few seconds. All right, I'm not going to take those bolts off because uh, it's going to take too long and they're really stuck on there. I'm probably going to have to get under the car like I did with the El Camino and get a really long extension and all that jazz. But it is a 17 millimeter socket. So if you've ever taken apart a Toyota and uh, need to get the engine out but not the transmission, transmission bolts are 17 millimeters. And uh, so. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers or more this year. That would be great. Uh, please leave a thumbs up on this video and comment below if there's anything you want me to improve on on my channel or anything like that. Also, go check out my Instagram page. Uh, it should just be Cam's Resto Cars or Cameron Leet. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned for more fun stuff coming up. I might have a future project that's going to be really fun to do. So. Uh, I might include a picture of it at the end of the video. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep you guys in suspense. But uh, here's the completed engine. Looks good. Just got to take the transmission bolts off. Take the engine mounting brackets and it should be good to go. Pull it right out of there. Here's my pile of parts. Here's my tools and wiring harness. So, yeah. Made good progress this evening. So, let's clean everything up and call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers this year. That would be amazing if I could. Uh, I'm gaining a little bit more, which is cool. And uh, also check out my Instagram page. It should be Cam's Resto Cars, no spaces, no capitals. And, uh, or Cameron Leet. Should come up with one of those two. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more fun stuff happening. Got a future project coming up that... Who knows, you guys might like it, you guys might not, but I haven't bought it yet though, so gotta first make sure the title's there and the keys and uh, that the motor turns over, it should be good, but I don't know, we'll see. I Yeah, I'm not gonna include a picture of it. It's in my Instagram actually, my Instagram page if you wanna see it. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.